Marcos, that's what they call themselves, the convener Marcos Onobu, member representing East and West, East and Central, and Igwe Benfeder constituency in the House of Representatives, is uh, the immediate past Speaker of Edo State House of Assembly, and uh, is joins us via Zoom from Benin City. Thank you so much, Honorable, for joining us on the program. Thank you, Ijoma. Good evening, Nigerians. Yeah, we appreciate. You see, uh, it, it's kind of, uh, do I say it's strange or we just say it's uh, novel to have um, the new Dawn Caucus in the National Assembly? But let us understand what this caucus stands for first before we go into details. Okay, thank you. The new Dawn Caucus of the 10th Assembly um, is the forum that brings uh, members from all political divides together. And the idea for the formation is to chart a new course that will foster unity amongst Nigeria through purposeful legislative engagement. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's, that seems to be a good one, through purposeful. Is this, this new Don caucus, does it cut across the Senate and the House of Representatives, or is it just mainly... Uh, well, it's the mainly house. the House of House of Representatives. Okay. You know, a combination of um, newly elected members of the 10th National Assembly, and uh, we have uh, about 120 membership of new members who have just come into the um, House of Representatives across party divides. Hmm. So, what what you're planning to do is to see that you get more members to join you, or you just. Uh, uh, decide to leave with this 120 members who uh, who say they want to foster the unity of Nigeria? Well, the idea is we just feel that we should create a platform that will bring everyone together. Um, regardless of our party affiliation, we should have um, a body that talk about the um, Nigeria of our dream. We should have a body that gives a platform where everyone can express themselves. Uh, because we are elected to represent the people of Nigeria through the um, 360 constituencies. But the fact is that we have come to do the legislative business for Nigeria. And this time around, now that we are elected and we are in the House, it is now the business of Nigeria. And the business of Nigeria should concern every one of us. And we shouldn't necessarily be concerned about um, our constituency where we directly represent. Mm. I like, I like the line uh, that uh, it should be the business of Nigeria. And uh, if, that, if, if that is the purpose of this caucus, uh, what in your mind now should uh, Nigerians expect from, from you? What's the what's uttermost in the minds of members of this caucus? Well, like I said, this um, caucus was um, put bearing in mind that us is to you know, give uh, foster unity first amongst all Nigerians because every legislator represents a constituency. So we speak on behalf of our people. Two is to have purposeful legislative um, engagement. So every issue that affects us as a people, you know, is what we're going to be discussing, you know, um, in the 10th Assembly. So we have an open mind. We are ready. Um, yes, we obviously know what we have come here to do. But at the same time, we are opening our channel of communication to every Nigerian home and abroad to be able to come and let us see how, like I said earlier, we can make Nigeria of our dream. Okay. First, you understand all that happened during the elections. Today, we have a multi-party system in the House. It's not the regular two-party system that used to be there. Today, we have about eight political parties now in the House that consist of... Uh, APC, PDP, APGA, um, LP, NMPP, SDP, YPP, and ADC. So today, because of what has happened in the last election that threw you know, so many parties up in National Assembly, you could see that Nigerians are yearning for better legislation. Nigerians are yearning for a better country. So it means that the task you know, that we are to cross is very high so we must prepare ourselves and the only way we can do that is for, for us to have a platform where we can share ideas and now say look it's not about 
our immediate constituent, but we should look at Nigeria as a whole, as the constituency that we represent today. And that is what the new Don Caucus represents. Mm. Okay, uh, but let's look at the possibility of pushing the popular bills, because since you talk about representing the Nigerian people to foster unity, possibility of the, these members with their different ideas pushing the popular bills, will you con is it that you will be consolidating each other's idea before you go to the chamber? Exactly. Mm. We have um, a platform. Currently, we have a secretariat, you know, in Abuja where we meet, you know, where we share ideas. And um, we are there for each other. And don't forget that any bill that comes to the house obviously needs support of other members from every other constituency across the region, across political lines and all that. So we already have a platform where we discuss these um, bills and motions. And by the time we get to the floor of the house... First of all, we'll look at these bills, see how it affects us as a people, see how it will promote the Nigerian that we talk about. And in the course of that discussion, you see that more ideas come. We modify such bills. By the time it's presented, you see that it's um, like um, it, it gets um, overwhelming support from members. So what uh, we are promising Nigerians as a new Don caucus is that it's going to be very robust engagement for the 10th National Assembly and that we are going to do all that we need to do to give executive the legislative support to make Nigeria a better place. Oh, okay. And that would be a very good one if uh, at the end of the day that you're able to push for um, better Nigeria. But before I let you go, I need to ask you this. It's a common question. Uh, we saw the 500 billion naira for palliatives that uh, the House approved for Mr. President. Uh, you think that will be a solution to our problems this time? Well, for me, first is to congratulate Nigerians and to congratulate the president because it is not really easy as a leader to take a bold decision. The first thing is that he took a bold step on the day of his inauguration and had to take off subsidy, though painful, but I'm, I think that we are beginning to adjust. And then any responsible government will go ahead to see how we can cushion the effect of this um, um, subsidy remover, which is the, you know, another giant move that the president has made. Um, he sent, because in the 2022 um, supplementary appropriation, now, he's just asked that they should, because every government first have their own priorities. And in that supplementary, there are some monies that have not been assessed. And what he needs is the legislative approval to be able to assess these funds, which ordinarily would have gone for payment of subsidy. Now, he wants to now make this money available to Nigerians to cushion the effect within the space of six months for the, um, as a palliative yeah. for the subsidy remover. Our responsibility now as a house, through the powers of oversight, having now approved this um, bill, is to now make sure that we use our constitutional power of oversight to do a follow-up to be sure that the poorest of the poor, those deserving Nigerians who need to benefit from this palliative, get the palliative. Hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Honorable. Uh, I wish we have all the time so we, we talk more. But uh, we'll still be having you to talk more since uh, uh, there's a caucus in the caucus <laughs> in, in the House of Representatives. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be glad to be here anytime you want me to be available. All right. Thank you. Honorable Marcos thank Onibu. You, thank you very much. Honorable Marcos Onibu, member representing East and West, East and Central, Igwebin federal constituency and he was the immediate past speaker of Edo State House of Assembly and currently the convener, New Dawn Caucus of 10th Assembly. Well, we have been able to ask him what that means. But let's quickly let you know that some lawyers have approached the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory to begin uh, committer proceedings against the Director General of the State Security Service, Yusuf Bichi, on grounds of violation of multiple judgment and orders of court directing the release of suspended Central Bank Governor Godwin Emefele from custody. The court has...
several others directing uh, him to release